All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you. It's Nine Minutes with me, all brought to you by Empower Federal Credit Union and Hides of Liverpool. If you are in and around Central New York, make sure you get to Hides of Liverpool. You'll never eat a better Hoffman hot dog off the grill. Hot dogs, uh, chicken fingers, grilled cheese, you name it. Put it with any of your favorite size. Chocolate milk for the kids. Get to Hides of Liverpool. Bring your family and friends down for the holiday season if you're in and around Central New York and you're home visiting and all the rest. Hides of Liverpool, a proud sponsor of the ML Sports Platter. Visit HidesofLiverpool.com for more information. We're also supported by Bryant and Stratton College and Bradley's Jewelers. Go ahead and log on to Bradley'sJewelers.com today and shop the showcase. I want to concentrate quite a bit on Russell Wilson in this video. Again, it's nine minutes with me, Mike Lindsley, IGTV, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm watching Monday Night Football last night, and all that's going through my head is the great quarterbacks of all time, the great playmakers of all time, but guys who have actually separated themselves in very unique fashion. And when you take a look at it from days gone by, Boy, I'll tell you what, Russell Wilson is as good as it gets for me in terms of people uh, I have seen play the quarterback position. When you have a look straight up at this guy, remember, he came into the league and he was questioned by every possible pundit you could ever imagine. He's too short. He can't see over the line. His arm isn't that good. He's a hybrid quarterback who's going to get killed. And all Russell Wilson's done so far has been a repeated All-Pro. He's a Super Bowl champion. He's played in two Super Bowls. And as the Legion of Boom Seahawks broke up because of salary cap reasons and all the rest, and knowing that in the future, Russell Wilson, he's going to get paid. They got rid of a lot of people right now. Obviously, they're they're kind of leaning on a couple guys defensively, Bobby Wagner being one of them, Wright being another one. But this is not the same exact uh, Legion of Boom Seattle Seahawks team defense DNA that we're accustomed to. Remember, it used to be the Richard Sherman Seahawks with the Bobby Wagner Seahawks and the um, uh, Cam Chancellor Seahawks and the Irvine Seahawks and all those guys that were together. That's not the case anymore, but it's proving a couple of things. One, Russell Wilson is absolutely amazing, and you had to pay him. I know they haven't been back to a Super Bowl yet since the Legion of Boom days. I realize that that was a, an incredible era. They had a lot of uh, decent wide receivers, but they were built around a zone offensive scheme blocking-wise, and guys like Marshawn Lynch, and then Russell Wilson was obviously Russell Wilson. But that Seattle team is known more for basically being an all-time defense. Now, it is the Russell Wilson show. I have no doubt in my mind that before Russell Wilson is done with his NFL career, he's going to play in another Super Bowl, at least one. Maybe he'll play in a couple more, and he could win another one. This year, who knows? It could be another one of his years uh, in terms of playing in the Super Bowl. But here's the thing. When you look back at past quarterbacks, you look back at the Joe Montanas, the uh, even current guys, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, Big Ben. Uh, you go through the whole list of them. Troy Aikman, Dan Marino, Jim Kelly, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, uh, Bart Starr, Aikman, Staubach. You go through all of these guys. Brad, I might have said Aikman twice. Bradshaw. You, you look at Steve Young. You look at all those quarterbacks I mentioned through the years of NFL football, the greats of the greats of the greats, and you stop and think, what guys in that group – of the elite all-timers, how many of them really separated themselves as being different, you know, as being unique? There's only a couple of them. I mean, think about it. Steve Young comes to mind because he was a hybrid guy, ran all over the house half acre, but he was also a lefty. He was a little bit different. You look at a guy like Fran Tarkenton, a guy who never won a Super Bowl, played in four of them, but he was very unique because he started the running quarterback trend. You look at Roger Staubach, he was kind of unique because he came to the NFL late after serving in the Naval Academy and, oh, by the way, winning a Heisman Trophy at Navy. Other than that, a lot of these guys have a lot in common because they are they were pocket passers first. You know, usually a big, strong type of guy. Bar Brad Favre maybe separates himself a little bit because he took a lot more chances, threw a lot more interceptions doing so. But he was still a lot more like a Dan Marino and a Jim Kelly and a Troy Aikman and a Tom Brady and an Aaron Rodgers than he is Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is a shorter type guy who is very much so a compact hybrid type guy who makes his own moves in the pocket and gets out of the pocket and maybe is one of the greatest quarterbacks we've ever seen throwing on the run. He is such a unique and dynamic talent. One of the rare quarterbacks that I have ever seen. I know from uh, for a fact that there's a lot of people 
who have been around a lot longer than me, who are really enjoying Russell Wilson's play right now as well. You're talking about a guy who is so unique that nobody can really you know, put a kind of a stamp on him and compare him to a lot of people. You know, Randall Cunningham maybe comes to mind, but then you look at him and you go, yeah, but Russell Wilson's far shorter than Randall Cunningham. Every single guy you try to bring up to compare to Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson adds an extra item of uniqueness, an extra item of dynamic play that is absolutely positively through the roof. This guy is unlike anybody I've ever seen. I'm 39, going to be 40 years old in a couple of weeks. I know there's a lot of people out there who are 45, 50, 55, 60, and they bring up you know some players they saw. Maybe if you're 70, you saw an Otto Graham. Otto Graham was really good too, but Otto Graham, I mean, he was even a bigger guy, right? You know, compared to a lot of quarterbacks of that era. Now again, you compare him to Russell Wilson today. Russell Wilson is a is a strong, stocky dude, but he's short, shorter than I think probably even Otto Graham. And I have to look up. Uh, that that number. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll go and look that up at the at the end of the video. Uh, but without looking, I, I I think Otto Graham was a taller guy than Russell Wilson is now. Russell Wilson is bringing a very different approach to NFL football. And oh, by the way, when you go ahead and look at his receiver corps, he's got practice squad guys on the team. He's got DK Metcalf, a guy who had an unbelievable combine, but he's a rookie. He's not even supposed to be putting up some of the numbers he's putting up. You look at a guy like Tyler Lockett. I know he got hurt last night with a leg contusion. Tyler Lockett's like a third-deck wide receiver. That's what's so funny about people complaining about how the Buffalo Bills don't have enough talent at wide receiver. To me, Cole Beasley, John Brown, and I don't care who, Dawson Knox, are better than the top three guys the Seattle Seahawks. They're more talented. They're they're, they're definitely uh, uh, better all-around players. And, and Seattle's working with a lot less talent, and it really comes down to, to a a couple things. They have better coaches. They have Pete Carroll and they have Russell freaking Wilson. Russell Wilson's making everybody around him that much better. The offensive line has gotten better. Russell Wilson works extra hard with these people and look at the wide receiver corps. They has no business catching the ball, making spin moves, doing crazy things that they did last night in the fourth quarter and, and that and on that final drive as well. But it's all because of Russell Wilson. I know that they're putting forth the effort. I know that you've got to give them a little bit of credit somewhere. But without Russell Wilson, these guys are missing mid- to low-level wide receivers, these guys are on the scrap heap. They're on the practice squad. They're barely finding an NFL roster spot, but as it is, they're on the Seahawks, and they're becoming really, really sound, good football players because of Russell Wilson. He is an incredibly dynamic guy. The only person you could maybe compare him to right now in the NFL is Lamar Jackson, but Lamar Jackson came in with unprecedented athleticism. He was a guy who a lot of people, including Bill Polian, thought, well, you should probably move into wide receiver. He's just going to get hit to much. So far, so good for Lamar. He's been a ridiculous athlete, hybrid player, throws it, runs it. I think he's number two in the MVP race right now behind Russell Wilson. But Lamar Jackson, look, we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray all day that he's not going to get hurt because he's such a dyna dynamic athlete. He's the best college football athlete I've ever seen. He's the most, ath most athletic college football player I've ever seen uh, in my lifetime and in person. But neither here nor there, he is going to be one hit away. That's another thing that Russell Wilson does extremely well. They don't have a lot of design runs for him anymore. He sees the pocket. He tries to get the, the first read, second read. If it's not there, he bounces away, and he runs away, but he gets out of bounds. He gets rid of the ball. He slides. He does a lot of great things that allow the defenses to get back on their heels and not be able to defend Russell Wilson. He, there are not many guys I can compare to Russell Wilson, if anybody in my lifetime. And then when you start to compare the quarterbacks of yesteryear, you then bring up Russell Wilson's uh, overall play, how he plays stylistically, and then the height, how he was doubted and all that. Russell Wilson is building his track to the Hall of Fame. I'm Mike Lindsley. Thanks to Cooper for jumping in there. This video is brought to you by Empower Federal Credit Union, Bryant and Stratton College, the Allen Angus Pub, and our friends at Travel Leaders of Liverpool. Hit me on Twitter, at Mike L Sports, and as I always tell you, enjoy the games.